Hey guys, here's another quick tutorial featuring a dramatic cut crease smoky eye plus glitter lips. Okay, so I've already prepped my skin and now I'm priming my eyes with NYX Conceal Correct and Contour. I've also done my eyebrows. If you want to know how I did it, check my recent video. The link is in the description box. This is the Zoeva Naturally Yours palette and it's actually the first time that I'm using it. I'm gonna go ahead with Soft and Sexy on the outer V using a Vanity Planet blending brush until I fully emphasize the depth of my natural crease. To me, the idea of a cut crease is to have the impression of a really deep set eye. So this next step is really important. You gotta conceal the area from the tear duct to the center part of the lid while making sure that you don't go over the crease. Now, if you have a monolid, you just gotta tilt your head up to see the natural contour of your eyeball. I also like to lift my eyebrows so it's nice and taut. That will give me more precision with this step. I applied casual elegance on the inner corners, then on the middle, smooth harmony. But then I realized this is not the color that I'm going for as it's too subtle. However, I think these pigmented colors would be great for every day. I'm going for champagne with a hint of rose. This is by The Bomb Cosmetics and it's a long wearing eyeshadow stick. I'm applying this on top of Smooth Harmony and then blending it ASAP because this sets easily. My camera automatically stopped recording in the middle of my eyeliner application but basically I made a wing liner using my favorite liner as of the moment and then just smoking it out with Timeless Chic from the same palette. I'm really impressed with the color payoff and the fact that it has almost no fallout. But just to make sure, I'm sweeping Biore makeup wipes underneath to polish the wing liner and also in case I have eyeshadow on my cheeks. Then proceed to curling your lashes and applying mascara. I've been totally loving Max Factor's new mascara. I just love the wand so much it creates volume in just one application. Plus, there's the 360 degree tip which lets me lift my lashes even more on the outer corners. And the color is really black as you can see. I wanted to stop at this point but I really want to make it so dramatic. I'm applying falsies and I'm cutting it into two and then I'm going to apply this underneath my lash line to make it look, well, what can I say, natural. <laughs> cutting it into two allows you to apply it easily rather than the full lash band. And then I also like to pull out the center part while the glue is drying to fit the curves of my eyes. This technique would really make it much comfortable to wear. Next, I'm applying my base and all that jazz, so let's speed things up and move on to contour. I'm using Becca X Crease Tegan palette and I'm using the shade Malibu Soleil on my cheeks and temples. I'm also contouring my nose to make it look even smaller. To highlight the point and bridge of my nose, I'm using NYX Strobe Genius illuminating palette with my pinky finger. And then back to the Glow Face palette, I'm using the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter in Rose Gold as my blush. On the lips, I'm applying Offer X Sneaky Tutorials in Nude Potion as our base color for the glitter lip. Then, of course, for the glitter lip, this is from BYS. I wore this to the Manila X Festival and I'm so in love with it as it stayed throughout the night. You will need the Glitter Fix Primer in your life if you love glitters. And to be honest, I think I'm starting to become a glitter addict because of it. Swept away, swept away. Ah, I'm cornered in the cold where you left me. Left again. I added mascara on the bottom lashes to finish the look. And we're done. This is such a fun makeup look and I hope you try it out for yourselves at home. And if you did, don't forget to let me know by tagging me in the pictures. I'd love to see how yours came out. So, where would you wear this type of makeup look? 70s party? First date? <laughs> I don't know. I'll talk to you guys in the comment section. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!